Good evening, everyone, and thank you, Dr. Goodman, for the introduction. Uh, our program, Alive, was created because of a huge problem in urban areas like ours, and that is black-white health inequities. African Americans in Chicago will live five fewer years than whites. Why? Why are African Americans losing five years of life? One of the main reasons is that the people in many of our black communities have been abandoned, resulting in areas of high poverty, high unemployment, and high rates of violence. As you can imagine, living in these communities takes a, a hard toll on one's health. But there's also something very positive in these communities, something that has a big impact for good health. The churches in our black communities provide hope meaning, and support. And these are the building blocks of resistance. And res resilience, I'm sorry. And resilience uh, can actually help people become healthier. So the pastors in these communities are not just spiritual leaders, they're also healers. And that, uh, so making a partnership between Rush health professionals and black pastors a natural. And that's how Alive was born. And my partner, Reverend Alan Ragland, is here today in the audience. So with help from Rush and from NIH, the first activity of our partnership was to create a wellness program for pastors in the community. After that, we created a uh, church-based intervention to improve diet in uh, the church members. And we rolled out this program in five local churches. We started with diet because we knew that by eating healthier, that was the best way to live longer and better. So our program blended the spiritual with the physical. One of our, the main components of our program was a Bible study in which uh, the church pastor led the Bible study and encouraged people to focus not only on their spiritual health, but also their physical health. And the program worked. By increasing motivation to eat healthier and improving nutrition knowledge, the 200 plus participants in our study across the five churches improved their diet significantly, which translates into substantial reductions in mortality. So this is just a first step, but it's a big one. The resilience of, power, of hope and faith is a powerful thing. And by leveraging that, we as health professionals, as pastors, and as community members have an opportunity to improve lives. And we have much more work to do. So thank you so much for listening, and uh, thank you for your interest.